Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. So, if there's one thing that I've noticed playing this deck in the first stage of the Duelist Cup is plants. It's that this is one of those decks that's really hard to get good gameplay footage of, and it's, it's just really hard to even get good back and forth games in general. Because people just do not like it when you piss Shokan all over them. Piss Shokan. <laughs> and what I mean by this is that a majority of your games will just play out in like a, a few certain ways. So for example, if I'm going first, right, a lot of times it's uh, my normal summon loci and my opponent has no hand traps for this and they will just immediately leave, which is, you know, understandable, saves both of us some time. The, the other common outcome is that my opponent either doesn't have enough hand traps or they simply don't know where to hand trap plants because, you know, this deck's not that common, you know, people famously just hand trap the most random things against you and then the, the it ends up doing nothing and then I do my combo and my opponent just sits there while I play with myself for the next 5 to 10 minutes and then when I pass it back to them, they activate two cards, realize that they can't play into this board and then leave, which, uh, you know, takes takes a bit of time for a, a whole a whole lot of nothing to happen basically and then the the, the third outcome is uh i get max seed and then i i i can't do anything and i pass and uh, I, I lose so yeah that's uh <laughs> um they're very majority of the time games where i go first just play out like that so you know it is what it is and then going second <laughs> this is one of those decks that plays this build especially plays 14 hand traps so it's really just uh just if i open the hand traps or i, no or I don't you know if i open the hand traps and i stop my opponent then i get to uh otk my opponent off of one card but if i don't open the hand traps my opponent goes combo you know they go fire against the guys they go you bell into a board that i can't break and then uh i i i really cannot play into most established boards with this deck if i don't hand trap them enough so uh yeah there's there's any, uh, any way you slice it, most of the games there's just not a lot of, a lot of uh, a, a good back and forth going on, as as Simo would call it. So, I, I mean, yeah, if if you're into that kind of gameplay, you know, just uh, hopefully just fast, stress-free games, uh, and with at the outcome, with the outcome of the match, pretty much being determined based on like the first few cards being played, then. Uh, this is one of those decks for you. This this is a deck that uh, it climbed pretty fast because uh, there was a lot of non-games involved. <laughs> I will say it. I don't know if that's something to do with plants in general or if it's just more to do with the format. Because the, honestly, it's been feeling like every every new pack release in Master Duel, it's just more and more decks are just playing out like a, in a similar way. Like even the rogue decks, like plant or like the tier three decks, all of them are follow the same gameplay loop of like, oh, you better hand trap me one or two times. Correctly, otherwise I'm gonna resolve my combo and I'm gonna win versus you. Uh, I'm gonna just win right off that. So, yeah, uh, yeah. In, anyway, enough ranting. So, so onto this deck list. So this is a 40 card build. Uh, again, if, if you want to know the combos for this build, because I know this is different from the 60 card plan build, I made a very detailed combo video on how to combo with this deck specifically, and uh, I'll link it in the description and like in a pinned comment and yeah this is basically a very your combo is very streamlined this is what i call plants for dummies there's you, as you can tell there's no theory on package like uh you know lily borea or regulus for an omni negate there's no i'm not playing any main deck aroma monsters the only aroma monster i'm playing is this one rosemary in the extra deck which is basically just spot removal and i'm playing a very minimal rika engine the, this uh you do not need to open any Rika cards in your combo in order to play. In fact, uh, most of the combos are assumed that you just go through all of these Rika cards that uh, that you just search all of these during your combo, and like you don't need, really need to rely on opening any of the Rika cards. So yeah, it's basically just one card combos with Loci and Evil Seed, and the ways to get to Loci, which are like unexpected die, and you know Lone Fire and Painful Decision as like the 40th card. That's just another way to get to. Your best normal summon and then your plan going second is even 
uh, more straightforward because I know uh, I know a lot of uh, 60 heart plan builds are cutting Melius and Thrasher. Well, not th not not they're not cutting Thrasher, but like Thrasher doesn't really do anything without Melius giving it extra attacks because they just simply don't have the room. Whereas here, uh, I you just barely have the room to fit in Melius plus Thrasher, so you can go for very s simple Thrasher OTKs where uh, so Thrasher gains attack equal to the monsters. Uh, you go to a Sonala monster link rating, so you make Thrasher with Melius on the field, the Thrasher gets to 3200, and then you do Melius and you give Thrasher 2 to 3 attacks, and you know, 3200 times 3, you do the math, that's that's game right there. So it's a very simple uh, uh, game plan to go second. You don't have to go through your whole 10 minute combo line like you do normally in like a 60 card plan build just to put lethal on board and stuff like that. Uh, some, it gives you less draws in your maxi, and uh, also like speaking of maxi, that's one of the advantages of playing a 40 card plant build is that you lose the maxi significantly less with uh, with uh, 40 cards versus like 60 cards. And yeah, there's the engine's pretty straightforward, honestly. Like again, I mentioned the the low size stuff. You're just maxing out on the all the good ways to get the low size, so that's like three low size. 3 die, the 1 for 1, which can also get Evil Seed, because it's also level 1, so this is actually the best extender in the deck, and then, you know, I put a painful decision as the 40th card, just that's another way, so you have another starter. And 3, Ragnarika, the Evil Seed, this is another starter. Also a secondary extender, and your main extend, your main way to extend through getting hand trapped on any part of your low side combo. So you're running three of this, and then Samurai Beetle is an engine requirement, and Bloom is an engine requirement, just so uh, your engine works. You usually add Beetle and like Bloom off of the Evil Seed, so and then you banish the Beetle, and then the Bloom can can summon back the Samurai Beetle. Or if you can have any other plant monster in, in hand, you can add Samurai Beetle, banish the plant, special Samurai Beetle, and you can then add a Hunting Dance instead. And Hunting Dance is basically just like a free pop. It's like a uh, if you if you have excess plants in your hand that aren't hand traps, you know you can still make use of the plants by just having being able to search this instead as another interruption on your end board as a trap card, so you know doesn't play into talents as easily and you know stuff like that. It's it, it's it's nice. It's, it's there's a lot of good things you can pop. Like I can pop like nightmare thrones or like field spells versus tier. There, there's always like one good target for this uh, interruption, and of course the sunsy twin as the brick. So. This is an action because of the Ragna Rika pack or cards in the game now. This card is really easy to play around. Like it's really simple. Any, any combo line you do you can pretty much, uh, you can basically do your full combo with any combination of cards, even if you draw a Sensei Twin. Like first of all, if you just open one of these four cards and you don't even have to normal summon the low side, then Twin is super easy. You just normal summon it and it's fine. But uh, Ragnar Rika, the Evil Seed, and Samurai Beetle. Samurai Beetle bottoms, um, it, it bottoms an insect, plant, or reptile monster. So, what you do is, if you draw this, is as soon as your combo access a Ragnar Rika, the Evil Seed, you will simply banish a Sensei Twin from your hand, and then special summon Samurai Beetle by putting the Sensei Twin in the deck, and then it's it's done. It's 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 back in the deck, and then you can so you can Sunbind Sewing for it. And it's uh, really simple. You don't really have to alternate. The combo lines even that hard usually. As long as you get to, as long as you have a hand that can get to Jasmine, which at minimum one low side will just let you go to Jasmine immediately. Like your low side at sewing, even though you can't sewing for twin sewing will still get you the three bodies. You know the, the dry ass something out like uh, the, your slasher plus the low side, and that will get you to your Jasmine line. Then Jasmine, you know, contribute the low side to get. The Lone Fire Blossom, then Lone Fire Blossom, get Ragnar Rika Evil Seed, put the Sun Seed, banish the Sun Seed Twin, put back the Sun Seed Twin with Samurai Beetle, link into Skeletal Soldier, and then Samurai Beetle's effect will revive this Lone Fire Blossom, to which the Lone Fire can then summon the, Lone, the Sun Seed Twin from your deck again. And then the Sun Seed Twin effect will trigger to get you to low side. And then you have, you have like the, all your combo, and then you have, you get the Summon Twin, you use Twin's effect, you get it engraved for the Twin's grave effect, if you need it. Like it's, but that's what I really like about the Ragnar Raikou kind of cards is because it makes playing with twin when you draw a twin in your hand so much easier and simpler and 
Uh, yeah, this is this is like used to be the worst brick in your deck, and now even drawing this is not that big of a deal, which is also like why I think running forty isn't as bad because uh, the bricks now are a lot easier to deal with with because you have to end, and it literally just puts any brick you want in your hand back into your deck. And yeah, and obviously if you start with running the right of the evil seed, and you have Sunsea Twin in hand, then you literally you can just put back the Sunsea Twin on the first summon of your combo, so it, you don't even have to worry about it. It's not even an issue, and. Yeah, the one lone fire blossom. This is a uh, the worst starter because it's the most vulnerable to ash. Like it's like die except this takes your normal summon and die does not take your normal summon. But you need at least one for the engine requirement because you will be summoning this uh, multiple times during your combo, especially the your low side combos. So uh, you still need to run the one off, and then one petal, one princess, one mood on. This is like the minimal. Rika package you can run. You just search Mudan and Mudan and Princess during your combo. So Mudan will get you your Konkon and Konkon will get you your sheet to sheet on your opponents. And obviously the Rika Princess is very important because it's an extender. But more importantly, you need it in the grave for the uh, Dance Beyond's effect. And Dance Beyond, uh, basically you target a level, f you target a plant monster in your grave, and all the monsters it points to become level four, which is basically means you target Princess and then two plant monsters you have become level 4 and that's how you make Strena. You don't really need, you don't need to run any of the level 4 because like you don't need to run Primula or stuff like that to make the Strena. You just use Dance Beyond's effect. That's that's what you use Sylvan Dance Beyond for, for by the way. You don't use Sylvan Dance Beyond to excavate and try to hit a, a random plant. Especially not in this build. This is a, not a build that takes advantage of the that Sylvan Dance Beyond's first effect. In fact, you, you, most of the time you don't even use Sylvan Dance Beyond's Gamba effect. That's that's not what this card's here for. It's for level modulation, not not for trying to, you know, get it twisted. And, uh, yeah, the see, sewing the the one of it's required the one con con. You can run more if you want to help if you like want to hard open this as a board breaker going second. But uh, it's like a two card combo to actually work because you need this plus a Rika monster. And like, if you want to go second, it's probably more efficient to just devote more slots to more hand traps because that's the, that's the format we're in right now. And one bloom is required for the engine as well. With the I think I mentioned that already, uh, the sheet and the hunting dance. So, Rika Glamour is an interesting card. It's technically the best extender you have in your deck because like, if they interrupt you at any point in your like combo, your low side combo, you can simply sack like a dry ass with Glamour and then add. Pedal and then pet because pedal is a level one, you can add right and right out evil seed to your hand. So anytime you have combo, Rika Glamour is like an extender that lets you add evil seed, which lets you basically play through any single hand trap. The problem with Glamour is that I don't want to run more of this because it's not a starter. <laughs> because uh, if you don't open a playable monster, like if you don't open a plant, then Glamour all it gets you is is pedal for Mudon. So you end on like con con sheet pass, and that's pretty much it. You don't get you don't get your combo that way. So I'd rather just play uh cards like Painful Decision to actually just still get me my combo at least. Even though it, Greek Glamour is obviously the best extender you extender you want if you draw playable, but I would I prioritize drawing playable first over uh playing through uh hand traps after drawing playable. If if if, if what I if that's with what I said made any sense there. But this is also the one of <laughs> Finally enough, this is a board breaker. It's because when you're going second, right? Uh, you can do your combo. You access Mudan into Concon, Con, and then you Concon, Con, you set Glamour, and then you use Glamour to tribute your opponent's monster. That that that's like how you're gonna use the one of Glamour quite a lot. Is to just remove any problem monster from your opponent's side of the board. As long as they're affected by uh, by effects, then you can get rid of literally any single problem card. No no worries. Uh, yeah, on to the extra deck. So, because Serena, Hyper, okay, I'll go over. I think you use all of all of these are necessary in some form of your turn one combo, except for uh, Roma Little Rose Rosemary. So, like, Strena for Hyperaton, Triple Dry Ass, you need three for some combo lines, at minimum two, two healers. Uh, you usually go through two because uh, you want to search twice off Jasmine, so you're I'm uh, gonna search Rika, Princess, and Mudan most of the time. Thrasher is for the OTK, what I mentioned earlier, to give uh, give this a lot of attack, and Melias gives Thrasher multiple attacks. 
2 Jasmine, Dance Beyond, then level modulation, not Gamba, Skeletal Soldier. This card's fucking insane. Like this, uh, this, this like revives another Link uh, Plant Monster, a uh, Regna Rika Monster in your Grave, which is usually Evil Seed. So this alone gets you three Link materials, and then this also, oh, because you made it with Samurai Beetle, Samurai Beetle also revives up any Plant Monster. So making Skeletal Soldier with Evil Seed plus Samurai Beetle gets you like four turns two Link materials into four Link materials, and then. Skeletal Soldier in Grave can bounce back, back uh, monsters from your back from the field to the extra deck or like to the main deck even if you want just to reuse them and you know gain Link materials if you bounce like a Link One or lower rating monster. Most of the time you're gonna use Skeletal Soldier to bounce back Melius because Melius when Link Summon revives a Sun Siege Genius Low Sight and of course that effect is not once returned because why why would it be we're playing plants here so you can literally use Melius multiple times to bring back multiple Low Sight in your combo and. That gets you like that lets you modulate your zones pretty easily, and uh, yeah. Also, this doesn't this card doesn't banish it. So unlike any most cards that revive themselves from the grave, this skeletal soldier just goes back to the grave after you use it. It doesn't because it doesn't banish itself. You can use use this as like a free summon from your grave every turn, and you just get three link material every turn for follow up. Even if you uh, so that's why the follow up is really strong because you have all of these resources in grave. And Roseberry, it's literally, because we're not running the other Roma cards, it's literally just spot removal. Like, you sack a monster that's points to, you banish a card, that's it. And then Bang Lancer is like a quick effect bounce. So, during your OTK line, you can very easily access Rosemary, uh, Bang Lancer, and Con Con for Sheets. So you can get rid of three problematic, you can bounce a monster, banish a card, and then tribute another monster. So that's, that's how you like clear it away. And also, like, this Thrasher attacks three times and has, like, 3200 attacks, so it, that's already gained by itself. It, it's, it's very easy to OTK if your your combo goes through. It's, like, you, it's really hard to mess up the OTK, unless you you run into, like, a Spirit of Ubel. That That's, like, the what's like one of the weaknesses of the deck that I've learned to... that I have unfortunately learned about is that sometimes getting, you, get, you get blocked by Spirit of Ubel a little bit, so... You're gonna have to play accordingly to that, but uh, yeah, but I'll, well, let, let's get on to the, the actual gameplay now. So this is like a typical board you can end on with this deck. So I draw Lone Fire Blossom, and because I draw Lone Fire Blossom, I actually have to you actually have to use Lone Fire Blossom as your starter because you probably want to get it into the grave, so it makes you vulnerable to Ash. Uh, except I drew Unexpected Die, so if my Lone Fire Blossom gets Ash, and I can just die and. You know, gonna continue on like nothing happened. But yeah, my opponent does not have Ash, so we don't even have to use the ex expend the unexpected die. So now you go dry ass and then dry ass add sewing. And this is typical plant stuff. Sewing get twin, twin one, dry ass two, dry ass summon thrasher, twin get back low side, go into jasmine, link twin into the second dry ass, link uh low side into healer, healer, target dry ass, gain three hundred, add Mudon. Use Jasmine Tribute Healer, get Ragnarok at the Evil Sea, get Beetle plus Hunting Dance because I already have a, I already have plenty of uh, plant monsters in hand already. I can just put back the Genius Low Sai and then with the Samurai Beetle and then Special Summon Sell the Soldier so that way you get to add the Hunting Dance as well. Samurai Beetle revives Lone Fire and then Sell the Soldier will revive Ragnarok at the Evil Sea and then Lone Fire sacks itself for Petal. I I. I have no search dragon for Petal, I just summon Petal because it's another form of follow-up. It's in the end phase, it'll just summon itself back. So yeah, I actually I, I actually just shortcut this immediately. I don't even go for like the extra Jasmine search because I already have both my Jasmine search in hand. Princess plus Mudan. So like I just shortened this combo even more so so I, my opponent doesn't have to sit through as much. But yeah, Melius bring back low side, then bounce the Melius back with the Skeletal Soldier, and then Link these two into Melius, the second Melius, so that I can survive the low side to put it in the middle zone. Special Princess, Princess plus uh, Melius makes Dance Beyond, Dance Beyond, target the Princess in Grave, because now it, you have to link off the Princess before you make Dance Beyond, or or like pretty early off, so that you can make sure it gets into the Grave. The, and then the Petal plus the low side are level 4 now, so you can go to Strena, and then uh, Strena, detach Petal, add back Lone Fire Blossom as a follow-up. 
and then Skeletal Soldier plus Dance Beyond make Vanga Lancer, Mudon, Sack the Strena, Chainlink 1 Mudon, Chainlink 2 Strena, Summon High Paraton, attach to Strena, add Konkon, the Mudon, activate Konkon, chain High Paraton, attach to Sewing Engrave, and then use Konkon effect, set sheet, and then you set the Hunting Dance. So yeah, this is the this is a combo I shorthanded. I didn't do the second Jasmine search because honestly, it, it's not necessary when I already drew my searches. So bounce, spell or monster negate. We have sheet, which is a a, a steal your opponent's monster. We have a princess engrave as a monster negate, and we have a hunting dance as a pop. And then like Con Con obviously uh, lets you tribute one of my opponent's monsters either for sheet or. Princess, and then we have the Nibiru hand that's like six or seven interruptions. You know, better have evenly or or bust. And I have an extra dry ass on field. This doesn't really do anything. Normally in combo you don't have this, but because I shortcutted the combo, I didn't go through the resources to make a second I like Jasmine. Then this dry ass is just another plant monster that I can tribute for Sheet or Princess if I need be. And yeah, our opponent in terms of high pair time, which is like whatever they activate. Throne and then Throne just gets popped by Hunting Dance, so th there's there's your Hunting Dance target. Uh, pretty easy to round the four cards. Normal summon D Lotus. I I just uh, attempt to attempt to sheet the D Lotus. They change Shivara that they drew, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna Rika Princess sack the D Lotus, then uh, negate the Shivara. So uh, you use your normal summon. You use Shivara. I don't know what else you can do from this point. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's nothing. So Rika end phase Rika pedal comes back, and then this is uh yeah, this is game. But pedal will add back the princess that put herself in grave. So I have another monster negate, and yeah, Con Con plays just puts the grammar. Now here's the thing against Zubel, I should probably hold sheet because if they have a spirit of Zubel in hand, they actually don't uh lose. Or they that they actually don't die. There's a chance. Now I can like I can't negate it with high paradigm because high paradigm only negates during my opponent's turn, so that's kind of annoying. If I had sheet, you can just steal the fan the spirit of Yubel that they summon and then attack for attack directly, and it'd be fine. So against Yubel, maybe maybe hold sheet more. Now I now obviously I never get punished. Uh yeah, I make a rosemary fist for attack points, and they they never have. They didn't have Spirit of Evil, so like never punish, but just something to keep in mind. Maybe hold Sheet more if you know that you're playing u uh At least hold it for last, because see if you even need the Sheet Interruption, because a lot of times they won't be able to play through your other Interruptions in the first place. Alright, so this showcases the other combo line. So I open Painful Decision, and I want to Ashton's Painful Decision. It's just like, you know, I was planning on using Call by the Grave on Ash, but they they ashed me on such a bad spot on the painful decision. This this is like so bad. What if I literally just had one of my seven copies of Low Side besides this? But then, and then what you actually you, you would have looked mighty dumb. So they do stop me from the low side, but only because I let it happen, because I already have evil seed in hand. So I can I have full combo with the evil seed anyway. So I'm like and I'll keep my call by the grave for for other hand traps you might potentially have, but yeah, you add bloom plus beetle, banish beetle, and bloom summons back beetle. We hard drew the hunting dance, so uh, if we had gone second, this would have been bad. But BS, we didn't. This is a good interruption. And then beetle revives evil seeds. Keep in mind that the zones Sailor soldier brings back beetle. You gotta summon beetle to this zone. Uh, to, to one of the zones diagonal to the EMZ. The the right now, the evil seed doesn't matter. The evil seed and skeletal soldier you're just gonna use to make a uh, Jasmine. Then Jasmine is gonna sack the beetle because because for some reason Jasmine can sack contribute non plant monsters. They can contribute any monsters because as if a, like a non once per turn search mandatory search isn't good enough already. But yeah, you summon Lone Fire. Lone Fire will sack the Jasmine. They get the low side and oh here's here's the low side that you prevented me from getting in the first place. And here's Dry Ass, Dry Ass, get Sewing, use Sewing, and now you do the, the Sunavalon crap, you know, Sun Z Twin, and Dry Ass, summon Thrasher, summon Low Side, make the second Jasmine, and then make 
Uh, another dry ass, make a healer. Healer. Gain. Jasmine search princess. Prin uh, Jasmine plus healer going to Melias. Melias bring back Loci. And then Skeletal Soldiers put back the Melias. And make, keep in note of, of the zones here. So summon, here I'll summon Princess. And then Sunsea Twin will banish the Dry Ass to summon the Jasmine from Grave. Because uh, of I didn't mention, but Twin's effect in the Grave. You don't do this with most with all of your combos, but in the Evil Seed lines, you have to use Twin to banish your Dry Ass on field. And then you can summon a Link monster with the same... Uh, if, if you have two mon more plant link monsters with the same name, as you said in the graveyard, you can special bond them. So because we went through two Jasmine in the combo line of Evil Seed, you can banish the Dry Ass to summon back one of the Jasmine. And uh, what do you know, the, the hard ones, the, the ones per turn, the hard ones per turn got reset to the soft, or the soft ones per turn. Uh, that, that's all I need to say, really. And then the Princess will go into Dry Ass. And here's why the zone matters here, because you don't you have to summon the Skeletal Soldier to this zone, which is weird because in the low side combo you summon the Skeletal Soldier to this zone to avoid clocking the Melias, the low side zone, but now you have to summon it here so you don't clock up the driest zone. It's I, I know it's weird, the zoning is like probably the hardest part of getting of comboing with this deck, at least getting used to it. And then the low side goes into a second healer, healer also not once return, so you get the heal of 300 and then the Jazz Trigger to and now you have Mood on. So now you have both your search targets for the Jasmine. You make another Melius to the zone underneath the Dry Ass, and then you summon Loci to this zone. So now you have the Diagonal Zones for Dance Beon, and then Melius plus Dry Ass go into Dance Beon. Dance Beon, Target Princess, make both these level 4, and then you go Strena, Strena, Detach, Lone Fire, add back Lone Fire for follow up. Dance Beon plus Jasmine, make Bango Lancer, sack the Strena for Budon, Strena. Summon High Paraton, and then Rika Kon Kon, High Paraton, attach a spell, set sheets, and then set Hunting Dance and Call by. And yeah, this is the, this is that that board again. Seven, six, six interruptions plus uh, whatever non engine you drew, and uh, yeah, that's not not much else to say. Our opponent tries to play through it. You know, Foolish Bureau Goods for Tribute Karma, activate activate Emsedi, which it's gonna be meant by the call by man. Imagine, imagine if I had used the if you used the ash for a better choke point, I would have had to use the call by you know to actually negate a hand trap instead like the ash instead of this horse that's just gonna get eaten up. So they're going to trivi karma, you know, presumably for the field spell, pearl rhino, but pearl rhino again, <laughs> they have three cards in hand and I have six interruptions still. So they're gonna use Pearl Rhino, which gets met with Hunting Dance. Don't even have to use the High Paraton. So now they're you're down to two cards in hand, sir. Good, good, sir. And oh, it's just, man, Master Duel's been been hella glitchy lately. Like I've been getting freezes when watching replays so often. I don't know what the hell's going on. But yeah, the Hunting Dance pops the Pearl Rhino, and then they're gonna activate Card Destruction, and I'm like. I, I want to negate with high paraton, but I'm like, bro, you have one card in hand after it. What the hell could you possibly hit? So they dump a Sharon. Don't even draw into a tier name, so they can't even trigger a Sharon. And I literally, did, I still did not use any of my. I still had five interruptions left waiting in the wings. So it's like, it's, it's, yeah. All right. So here's a hand that is not combo. In fact, this is possibly the the worst. One of the worst hands you could produce. Obviously, you have the Sunsea Twin Brick. And if I had any other access to Loci or Ragnarok at the Evil Seed, this wouldn't be a problem. But as you can see, I I don't. In fact, I drew Glamour plus Pedal plus Mudon. So like two of my three one of Brick and Monsters. And drawing Pedal is especially bad. Because if Pedal was literally any if Pedal was still in my deck, then this would be fine. The Sunsea Twin, I can normal summon twin, use Glamour, sack the twin. Add a uh, evil seed plus pedal, and then stitch pedal for evil seed and combo that way. But because I drew the pedal, uh, I can't add evil seed because glamour only lets you tribute a monster if you uh, add a Rika monster, and then lets you add a Rick add a monster that's the same level as the monster as the Rika monster that you added. But since I'm only on one pedal and the evil seed is level one, 
Uh, I I can only add princes, and I have no other level fours that'll help me combo. So yeah, this is gonna be one of those games. But uh, normal summon Rika Petal, add princess, and then Mudon sack the petal, <laughs> and then Mudon effect, add Con Con. Special princess, princess make dry ass just so I can then let her plant monster and put the princess in grave. And Rika Con Con will set sheet and I. And this is sheet in perm pass. So. Yeah, that's uh. Uh, it's still not even terrible because I have the princess negate, monster negate, I have a Rika sheet which is like a steal, and I have the Con Con which is like. Sack tribute one of my opponent's monster for cost plus an imperm. So this honestly, as far as brick hands go, this isn't as bad. You know, this isn't as bad as it can be for most decks, but not ideal. Obviously, my opponent's on. Uh, first of all, you're gonna shifter me and top deck shifter. So I'm like, uh, probably should negate that because even though it doesn't affect my interruptions, uh, I'm, it's gonna ruin my follow up. And I don't. I already don't think I can kill. I'm gonna struggle to kill them next turn. Anyway, so without the shifter, but yeah, with the shifter, they're, yeah, they're gonna live another turn. I don't, I really don't want that. And now they're gonna reinforce the army into raise it. So they're on, on vanquish those. Haven't seen this like honestly in a while outside of the dual trials. But I'm gonna imperm the raisin. Maybe this is incorrect, but my thought process was if this imperm resolves, I win the game because they have no Borger or Caesar Valleys, which is like the only thing that could really, really trouble me. But yeah, they, they don't have it, you know, better have it, and they, they didn't. And now the raisin gets negated, so they can raisin reveal for the Jalong and then special summon the Jalong. And uh, here, so I don't think they had two fires in hand, anyways, but yeah, obviously, so this is the interaction where. Uh, Jalong is a quick effect, so if they really wanted to activate Jalong, they have to do it now on the summon window. Otherwise, uh, this is what happens. So they don't activate Jalong, I use Rika Sheet, sack the Jalong, take the Raisin, and yeah, that, that ends the game because I just removed two bodies and the, the Jalong doesn't get them any value. Now, uh, they probably didn't have two fires in hand anyways to reveal for the good effect of Jalong in the first place, so it didn't matter, but if they did, uh, just know that you can't mess around as against Sheet. The minute, the moment Sheet is activated, you cannot really respond to it because I can just immediately sack whatever monster might be threatening. Even if it's a quick effect, you cannot chain the quick effect to Sheet because the Sheet tributes your monster as cost. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I, I mean, Vanquish sold. Sheet Sheet's a pretty good card at the end of the day, so you, we still have that even if you don't do your full full combo. All right, so. Here, we're going second, and our opponent prosperities and reveals that they are on Centurion. So, first of all, them prosperity right off the map, the bat tells me that, that they don't have a starter. Usually, if you have a starter, you want to summon it first to see if you can bail out a hand trap, see if you they have a hand trap, and then prosperity afterwards, depending on whether they do or not. So, because I'm suspecting that they actually just just only had this Primera as a starter, I just imperm it right away because they opened Prosperity, which the telegraphs a weaker hand, which I was... I got that assumption right, so they do pass on an imperm, but the other side of that is, uh, if they pass on Primera, that means the other cards in their hand are, well, you can probably guess. So, Dry Ass tries to get, uh, Valored, and, uh, you know, my hand, I thought my hand was crazy, you know, I had Called by the Grave for the, for the Valor, and then uh, we'll search sewing, and then I have a uh, sewing which gets ash, and I have cross off for the ash. Man, the Yu-Gi-Oh is so interactive, and I get and I get maxied. Okay, so they, they actually just had uh, <laughs> uh, you know they were breaking on something, right? Maxi Valor Ash Blossom seems seems fair, seems fair. Uh, I I gotta take it. You know I only opened cross out and call by. It's not enough to deal with three hand traps. So we're gonna play it into maxi, and this is the this is the minimum amount of summons you can do under maxi to still OTK, which is. This is still a lot, so it's, it's no, 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 not, like, no lie, if my opponent drew Nibiru at any time, we would have been cooked, but this is the minimum amount of summons. So, like, you turn, you do the, the sewing thing, then you get all, uh, you get these four plant monsters, then you turn the three underneath the Dryads into Melias, Melias will revive the, the Lokes, 
Psy, and then Low Psy makes Thrasher. Thrasher targets Lo Melius, gains three, uh, gains uh, 3,500, and then Melius gives Thrasher's uh, two attacks. Then you make Bangalancer, and then Bangalancer. Importantly, I'm going to use Bangalancer bounce back the the Primera because. This deck actually doesn't play into a bestial because none of these monsters are light and dark. And then if we bounce the Primera back, they won't have light and dark. So this actually does play around a bestial. And yeah, you attack once and you attack twice, and that's uh, enough for game. So you just have to worry about the bureau. You can you can play around bestials fairly well as long as your opponent doesn't have any light and dark monsters in grave. Because uh, you never have to put any light and dark monsters in your grave for your own OTK line. So yeah, but I mean. <laughs> That, that that was the minimum amount of summons, and they still drew like what the ten plus cards. So like it it it, does, it never feels good to take the maxi count of this deck. But, like dude, the chances of them drawing the beer against you is way more than against other decks. But you know it 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 is what it is. That that's like the the trade off you take for playing a like, one card does for one card being able to do seventy k seventeen k damage on its own or up to that much. All right, so we're going second and. You know, th th this is what it takes to win going second sometime. Maxi in perm. And our opponent is opening uh, opening of the spirit gate. So that's, uh, unfortunately, this in perm by itself is not really doing much. So, uh, yeah, there's not really much point in perm bringing the Dark Beckoning Beast. They're going to normal some of those the Lotus, which they also had, which is why I'm going to maxi it and I'll pray it resolves. And it does. And here I'm going to in perm the spirit view because I don't want to deal with the nightmare pain as well when I try to OTK them. Now, here's where my opponent loses their mind, and they're, they're probably sick of this game, and I I don't blame them. Okay, first of all, tactics to draw instead of look is an interesting choice. Drawing the hand traps, they not have any hand traps or something, so that's gonna get Ash. Yeah, yeah. It's just casually, three hand traps. That's that's what the, that's the name of 40 card plants. Just draw three hand traps going second. Our opponent, fan of you well, understandable. Almirage, opening the Spirit Gates, pitch, Chaos and the Beast, summon it back, make Nightmare Phoenix. Bro, what in the hell were they? They gave me... They gave me how many draws off of, the, off of that that they didn't need to? They gave, they gave me one, two, three, four, four draws off of that that, I, that just, just did not need to happen. I just... Yeah, you know what? Out of respect to my opponent, um, I'm gonna try to not use any of the cards that I drew off the maxi. But yeah, they're they're sick of the game. Uh, I I don't blame them. And I'm gonna normal summon Lone Fire. Lone Fire try to bait out like the fan of Yubel or something, or bait out like a call by I don't know nothing. So then I special Ragnarika pitching a uh, uh, pitching this Evil Sea. Although frank frankly, I could have just pitched the maxi instead if they didn't for some reason give me four draws for some reason. But uh, yeah, then this will get the imperm, so that bades out one interruption. And yeah, the pedal, I summon out the pedal, since pedal also forces interruption. It's gonna search Con Con, and, and if they don't let the- They're gonna have to either, either negate the pedal or negate the- The Mudan, which search, searches the Con Con, which would wreck their field. So yeah, there goes the fan of Yubel, so that's how you, uh, <laughs> bait out two interruptions without committing a low side. And, uh, yeah. They're gonna fan of you Spirit of Yubel, get out Yubel. Drawing the Rick of Glamour, which I shouldn't even have used because, like, what this doesn't even do anything for me. I just pitched roll, summon Loci, and dry ass, dry ass, get sewing. The hardest part of this combo now is not activating stuff in the Inferm column by accident. So, twin one, dry ass two, gets healer out. Since I don't need to search anymore, I can just afford a healer. I'm going for Thrasher OTK. So, Jasmine, going to dry ass, going to. Another healer, I don't know why I even did this, because I searched uh, Mudan, and like, I I don't, I don't even need all, uh, this many extra bodies, to be fair, but yeah, these go into Skeletal Soldier, Skeletal Soldier gets back Evil Seed, go into Melias, Melias, revive Loci, Special Princess, make another Dry Ass, then make a Sunvine Thrasher, Thrasher effect, Target Melias gain uh, 2400, so it's at 3200. Melias target Thrasher, give it three attacks because I have three. I have uh, Melias plus double dry ass, so this is a 3200 triple attacking Thrasher, and that's honestly enough for game already. But then you can go Bangalancer, bounce back the Phoenix, and then uh, 
I shouldn't have blinked out the Banging Lancer, so my... I, I was trying to... So I was trying to revive the Banging Lancer, but then I realized, uh... You can only use one Banging Lancer the Resurgent effect per turn, so... You can't bounce and revive it on the same turn, so... Whoopsie, my bad. The novice plant player here. You should have just linked off the, the pedal for the, the little... The, the pedal or the dry ass for the Rosemary would have been fine. Because you make this Rosemary to banish the you uh, to banish the U Bell, that way it's it's out off the field, so it's a clear board now. I don't have to worry about talking into anything, and uh, just put them on half spirit of U Bell. That's basically basically it. But yeah, this is even with the messed up Angel Lancer, because this is still like over eleven thousand damage plus like two clears two monsters. I could have cleared a third one too if uh. I could also bounce the Brick of Petal back with the Skeletal Soldier, and then that would have given me a Glamour search as well, if that lets me tribute if I got access to Con Con. But I, I, I mean, I fired off the Glamour early by accident because I, I don't know, shiny yellow buttons. But yeah. So yeah, this 40 card plant list is what I like to call plants for dummies such as myself, because it really makes the combos more streamlined and simpler. I, I know that the combos, if this is your first, first time seeing plant combos, they might be seem a little daunting from this video, but trust me, if you were playing the, the plant builds that other people were playing, the 60 card builds that like Sunsea, Jess, and everyone else is with like all the the Aroma cards and the Firion cards and like all the extra engines, like the combos are like two to three times as long and they're much harder to go through Go, they're, they're like longer to go through, they're harder to keep track of because you're, you're doing multiple searches and your zones matter more and like it's just... It, it's so hard. I, I might play one that build in the future when I get better at playing plants. But for right now, this is like a good starter... Uh, a good starter list for people who want to get into playing plants but don't want to, you know, <laughs> invest their entire timer trying to work out a combo every match, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah.